Hey guys, welcome back to some more Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars, and what will be the finale of this incredible childhood game of mine. Uh, this is it, guys. We are off to Bannockburn, Scotland. And um, just before we start this, can I just say thank you so much to everybody who's enjoyed this. Um, this honestly is a proper childhood classic of mine, and uh, I'll never forget this game. And uh, I'm ready to wrap this up, so uh, get ready, because it's going to be a good one. Uh, let's go. Bannockburn, Scotland. Cha-ching, let's go. Oh, it must be done. Oh, oh. I guess so. And we must be nearly there. Somewhere out there in the dark. Is Scotland. We've come a long way together to get here. Yeah. Let's hope it was worth it. We have we have come a long way, us two, haven't we? Started off as strangers. George, just a regular guy on vacation, turned into Detective Stobart, Jesus, and Doctor Stobart, apparently. Oh man, it's been fun. I've still got the clown's nose. So I see. You should slow it away, George. <laughs> I bet he won't, though. There's something I've been meaning to say to you, Nico. Is this the right time and place, George? There might not be another time. I don't want to waste this chance. You don't need to say anything. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. But here, you see. Now. Duh. You too. You're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep? Sleep? At a time like this? Excited, huh? Would you like something to help you sleep, dearie? I've got some tablets in my bag. Oh, no. Thank you. Thanks all the same, ma'am. Very, very kind. Pardon me. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due in Stirling? A quarter to six, but we're running eight minutes late. God damn it. What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I've picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. It's been out of print for years. Mm, interesting. What's the title of the book? The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. Ah. I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pegram. That's right. Do you know him? No, I never met him. George is a great fan of his, though. Big fan. Even went to Ireland, but he wasn't there. God damn it. Do you know Sterling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two lovebirds are bound? Yeah, we... It's one of the places we thought we'd see on our holiday. Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Uh, no. I suppose espresso no. bars and boogie-woogie are more your cup of tea. That's right. There's nothing George enjoys more than a good boogie. <laughs> Nico really trying to sell it there. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Sterling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping, and they say romance is dead. <laughs> this is funny. Well, I guess we go up and look around then, I guess. Where are you going, Josh? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me. If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L-E-A-K. Tickets, please. 
Oh, hi. <laughs> I love that bit. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's a standard full price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. My ticket is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty of pubs and a lovely view from the castle. Thank you. Pubs in the castle, sorted. I don't want to worry you, but there was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm, maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. Hmm, interesting. Can't you sit still, George? <laughs> I need to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, George. Good shout. Unthinkable though it is, I am hungry enough to eat English food. Oof. Okay. Oof, Nico. Less of that. All right. What are these lads doing in here? Oh, <laughs> been sick. Blood. <laughs> blood. Did I just say blood? I meant bud. Hi. Having a party? No. This is British. Come on, join us, man. We're Basha. Wake up, man. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from, from Newcastle factory. Excuse my mate, he's tucking a nap, sleeping like a bobby. I'll wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. <laughs> Newcastle. What is that stuff you're drinking? It smells like gasoline. Aye, I'll put tears in your chest, like. And your eyeballs, too, by the looks of you. <laughs> Would you like a red nose? No, thanks, pal. I got one of my own. Fair enough. See you later. I didn't want to wake him. No. To be frank, without a cold water hose, I didn't think I could wake him. Do you open that window, pal? Why not? Yeah, it's freezing out there. Good point. It is Scotland. Okay, no one's in that one. All right, where's the John? Is this locked? The door was locked. Yeah, assume this one is. The door was locked. Yeah, assume this one is. Oh, shit, son. Oh, no. That gangster creep from the hotel, Guido. Well, he didn't scare me. Hey, Buster. This is a no-smoking car. Okay, maybe he did scare me. It got worse. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me of. Eklund, Marquet's murderer. Yep. The bogus doctor. Okay, well, we're not going that way, so we might as well go back. Oh, shit, where's Nico gone? And the old lady. Oh, this isn't I good. I should have known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Yep. Suddenly, the sword of Bafama took second place to finding the girl I loved. Let's go get her back, Georgie boy. No one touches our Nico. I don't care if it's cold, bud. I'm opening that goddamn window. Hey, buddy. Listen, I need your help. What's the matter? There's a guy on this train who's trying to kill me. Relax, man. You wouldn't try nothing with us in Basharia. We are veterans like, so action at Brightling Sea. 
I don't recall the British Army being involved in a conflict at anywhere called Breitling Sea. <laughs> well, uh, you just take it from me, pal. You're in safe hands. Did you see what happened to the young woman in the next compartment? No, pal. I didn't have you lost her like. She's disappeared. The old lady, too. I think they're in trouble. Oh, we yeah, man. An old lady, too. Yeah. You gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet like. I don't think so. You never go on our own. I was in pairs, you know. This is no, true. She's but I doubt abducted. it. I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. He's not what he seems. You want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. He's a fake. See you later. No, they should let me open this window now. Yeah. Give do it, pal. Don't jump. I don't intend to jump. Yeah. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't you? Just watch me. Man, George was like the Nathan Drake back in the day. Go on, George. Hold on now, pal. I'll give you a hand, like. Yeah, just don't, like, launch me out the window. Help me up. There we go. <laughs> His arms hanging out. All right, we are up. All right, so we don't want to go. We don't want to go that way. Trust me, we want to go this way. This would be so dangerous. No, this way, George. Oh snap! Oh, Guido. Oh, it's Khan. Oh, shit. I'd always wanted to stop the train, and now was my chance. Damn. You saved our lives, but why? We were always on the same side. Stobart, different causes, but a common enemy. The Knights Templar? Don't. Call them that. The real Templars were a noble foe. These uh, barbarians have no right to that name. These men are no better than dogs. What are the Neo Templars after? What is the sword of Baphomet? Not what you think, my friend. It is a weapon, yes, but one which our enemies will find difficult to wield. A double. Sword, a power older than Dimole, older than Solomon. We'll stop them, you and me together, and Nico. No, George, my journey ends soon at the Garden of Paradise. You're talking in riddles. Can't you tell me straight what they're after? The sword symbolizes a colossal energy caused by the alignment of the Earth's natural power fields. Which are focused at St. Ninian's. The energy endowed the Templars with the power which made them great. A power which made them charismatic to such an extent they could control the will of all around them. Wow, holy crap. So yeah, the old lady was Khan. In disguise. How did you escape from the bull's head? It is a long walk from the cliff of the bull to the village, Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. Also, I have a sister who keeps a garage just around the corner. Damn. Do you want your nose back? Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, <laughs> that would have been cool, though, if he was like, do you want the nose back? Oh man, this is it then. May Allah guide you to our enemies. Thanks. One last thing. Ugh. What is it? He's gone. He's dead. Damn. So this whole time, Khan was on our side. We, both of us, just didn't know it. Oh man.
Underneath that heap of tumbled crates was Eklund. I wasn't about to help him out. No, I wouldn't. Underneath that heap of tumbled crates... Okay. <laughs> okay, George. You must help Nico. Nico looked good. Even in ropes. Don't even think about it, George. What? Who? Look me straight in the eye and tell me you weren't thinking of using that axe on Eklund. Don't be foolish, woman. I was going to use it on you. <laughs> Nico looked good. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get her out. The rear exit was barred and padlocked. Nico looked good. Even in ropes. Uh... Where do you think you're going? Don't worry. I hadn't forgotten about you. Answer me this instant, George Stobart. I will. When I'm ready. <sighs> That's not fair, George. No. You took advantage while my hands were tied. When Eklund pointed that gun at me, I thought I was going to die. I thought of all the things I'd never get to do. And kissing you was at the top of my list. Dawg. Oh. George. Uh-huh. Josh, we've got to get off the train. Eklund could recover at any time. So what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here then. Several minutes later. Guess we're here. we go. St. Ninians. I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? His handbag. Oh, great. If we run into any killers, we can give them a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know half of it. This bag's full of C4. Holy crap. Wow. Why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show them now. What's C4? <laughs> Plastic, Josh. We're going to shop our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic explosives. The detonator's broken, though. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work that way. It takes a small explosion to start the big explosion. Well, that's not much use, then. What does that sign say? Apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid-17th century, this place was used as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look at the state of this place, George. You work it out. Oh, stray spark? You mm. got it. The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the sword of Baphomet. Do you? I rather hope it did. Well, I'm sure we'll soon find out. It was just about recognizable as the church I'd seen reflected in the chalice. Templars, roundheads, and cavaliers. This place has seen a lot of history. Yeah, it seems that way. A large arch led into the tower. Nico? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Nothing. <laughs> it's all right. Oh. A large yeah, I didn't mean to do that. In we go. In we go. Ooh. Can we... Let's have a look at this. Now, I know there's a load of stuff in that pile of dirt there that we can rummage around in. The wheel turned reluctantly with a creak of complaint. There was no obvious way of removing the wheel from its housing. The handle turned easily, and the larger wheel began to revolve. And then it snapped Damn. off. Then the handle came off in my hand. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a cog. Yeah. Now that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. And then I think there's some stuff in here. I scrambled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. 
Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. Ooh. I'm pretty sure some of this stuff you don't even need, so it's quite pointless. <laughs> you just pick it up for no reason. It was caked with soil, but what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. Pretty sure there's a pen top in here somewhere. With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, and black. Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a plastic pen top. <laughs> yep. I think that's it, isn't it? I didn't find anything. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure we can put the uh, put the nose on this guy. Sometimes the most childish gestures <laughs> can have a cathartic effect. The transformation of the demon to a clown did just that for me. Love it. Pretty sure you can put this pipe in his mouth. With the clay pipe <laughs> in his mouth, he looked happy, homely, like somebody's granddaddy. What do you think you're doing, Josh? I wondered if there was a secret mechanism in the demon's mouth. Maybe you should show a little more respect. For a mythical medieval demon? Give me a break. Okay. Go right ahead. Meddle with forces you don't understand. Incur the demon's wrath and burn in hell. Damn, Just Nico. Just see if I care. <laughs> Damn, Nico. Right, well... I ran my fingers across the cold stone and probed the holes in the demon's eyes. Beneath them... The mouth formed another hole. But I wasn't about to put my finger in there. No, I wouldn't. I was like, I don't want to do that. I ran my beneath. Can I not? Okay, I don't know. I know we can put these. The cogs. The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. Uh, and the other one. With a rasp of metal on stone. I eased the second eye into place. Uh, I pushed the pen top into the mouth, and it disappeared somewhere <laughs> inside the statue. It had probably gone straight to Byro Hell. So a pretty useless... Uh... Yeah, see, I don't know what you would do with that. Yeah, take the pipe out. I pushed the handle into the demon's mouth. The cogs all meshed. I began to turn. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> That's totally going to be the thumb now. Uh, all right, let's go. As soon as I saw the flickering torches... I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so quiet? Mm. The powder spilling from the barrels reminded me of pirate stories I'd loved when I was a kid. It was gunpowder. Oh. It was definitely gunpowder. But it had solidified over the centuries it had lain here undisturbed. Interesting. No, George. What? Leave that torch right where it is, <laughs> in case you ever notice the crypt is full of gunpowder. So what? Don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust. No? You think I'm a jerk, don't you? Don't be silly, George. I'm going to keep your voice down. I thought I heard something. Like chanting. Sorry, Nico. She's right, though. Listen, I can definitely hear chanting. You're right. I hear it too. What do you suppose they're doing? It wouldn't surprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. Well, so what are we waiting for? <laughs> Shh. Sorry. Will you look at that? 
The Fomet. Lavinor was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God, who'd revealed this place to them. Oh, look who it is. Rotho! Why, the devil's dealing treacherous. On the contrary. Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. All right. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet, we salute and pledge our obedience to you. So yeah, the Grand Master we saw in the catacombs. I salute you, Gatekeeper of the Temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. As the tired millennium dies, and this world looks for new leaders, we shall not. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars. Here we go. The ritual. Jesus Christ, that cannot be good. Look at him, he loved that. Loved it. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. Fortunately, no harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like you. Join us, George. Join us in true brotherhood. Yeah. True? Wait. Brothers? What about Marquet? What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers. Only as failures. Three men dead, and you don't give a damn. George, you know that sacrifices are necessary. Every great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Oh, George. I had great hopes for you. 
à la guerre. Eklund. Kill him. Oh, hell no. Yes. Don't you touch her, you... Git. <laughs> oh, shit. Bye, Eklund. Oh, it's Rosso. I swear, I just wanted things to be right. Oh, they shot him. By Rosso, rip. Take them. Kill them. They will not escape. Oh, we are out. Ugh. Well, well. Guido. If it isn't the great detective and his beautiful assistant, it's going to be a pleasure killing. Josh, what are we going to do? She sounded British then. Come on, Nico, we're leaving. We are out. You fools, you cannot escape us. Guido, stop them. But master, the powder. That powder is from the English Civil War. You fool. He's over 300 years old. How explosive do you think we can be? I thought it was all over, but Nico had one last trick up her sleeve. Or in her handbag, to be ah, exact. Ah, the C4. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know, you'll never be able to write your story now. I don't care. I've got what I want. Huh? Just tell me one thing, Georges. Is our life together always going to be this crazy? And there we go. There's the credits. That's it. That's Broken Sword. The Shadow of the Templars. What a game. Oh my god. This was so good back in the day. So, so good. I mean, what else can I say? Um, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for liking, commenting, and uh, just enjoying it all around. Um, I'm going to let the credits roll now. Uh, and if there's anything after this, I don't know, I can't remember if there is. But uh, I'll see you guys in a sec.
And there we go, back to the menu. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I was, I was going to try and talk through the credits, but you probably wouldn't have been able to hear a single word I was saying because some reason, Jesus Christ, when like the FMV uh, play, uh, when the FMV videos play and like that, the end credit scene, it's just the the volume just ramps up like really loud. And I was like, oh, there is no way people are going to be able to hear what I'm saying at the end of these credits, but. Luckily, we've got our screen here, our main screen for the game. So I'll, I'll say my final thoughts uh, and goodbyes here. Uh, so yeah, like I said, what a game. I love Broken Sword so much. It's such a good childhood game of mine. Um, I'm so glad I did it again on the channel. I always knew I was going to. Um, it was just knowing when uh, to fit it in and uh, when to go about it, really. But... Um, Again, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for liking it. And, uh, you know, whether you're new to Broken Sword, the series, uh, or it's a game that you played back in the day, um, I'm glad that I could play it for you and you enjoyed it just as much. Um, I will be doing Broken Sword 2, absolutely. No doubt about that. Um, that that's the thing with Broken Sword 1 and 2. Uh, I never know, like I love them both, bro both uh, Broken Sword 1 and 2, but I, it's like I play Broken Sword 1, I'm like, oh my god, yeah, we've got, then we've got Broken Sword 2, Broken Sword 2 is so good, but I can never decide on which one I like the best, like it's just too hard for me to say, um, but I will be playing Broken Sword 2, I don't know when that will be, because um, again, oh, excuse me, I've got so many games that I want to do for the channel, so... I'm sure we'll slip Broken Sword in there somewhere. Uh, blo broken? Broken Sword 2 in there somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't know when that will be. Uh, definitely want to play Broken Sword. I want to play all of them, to be honest. I, uh, uh, I've played Broken Sword 3, but I've never finished it. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, and Broken Sword 4 and 5 I've never even played, so... They'll also be interesting. And yeah, something I was I was going to mention, but I actually forgot, is that this uh, Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars actually got re-released. I think it was in like... It was either like 2006 or 2009. Um, Shadow of the Templars got a director's cut version, which I've never played. And apparently it's got like a bunch of added extra story content, and you can play as Nico more and stuff like that, so... I would like to give that a go at some point and see what that's like, because I've never played it. I think that's on Steam. I think that's the Steam version of uh, this. Um, this version that I'm playing is actually the disc PC disc version that I've had for years. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I've still got it, to be fair. Um, but yeah, apart from that, again, just thank you. Thank you very much. Um, that's it. Broken Sword. Shadow of the Templars. Done did. Um, the end. Um... So, let me know in the comments uh, what you liked about this LP, which location was your favourite, what was your favourite side character, what made you laugh the most. Just just cool stuff that you may have enjoyed uh, this LP. Uh, and again, I say this about every LP that I do at the end. Anybody watching this in the future, again, please let me know if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, I hope, I hope it was a fun experience for you. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up because I could go on talking forever you know me in these in in these end intros uh, in end in end intros end outros i could just babble on forever um but that's it i'm gonna say goodbye thank you so much for watching thank you for being a part of it uh stay safe stay healthy all that good stuff look after each other and as you guys know i will see you lot in the next project take care guys see ya